I had such a good time there last year and I'd obviously had a great result and um, it's a race where um, I think not so much tactics but just sort of playing the waiting game really comes into it and I think um, I think my first Paris-Roubaix was in 2002 um, and like most people you have it you have sort of grown up watching it on the TV and you get the opportunity to ride it and it's all about the cobbles and so the minute you hit the cobbles I think you end up kind of thinking you're Yohan Museo or Franco Ballerini and as a 22 year old neo pro you, you end up kind of wasting yourself on the first five six sectors and then f find yourself drifting away before Arenberg and and I think that's true of most people you're kind of the first cobbles are, are still the best part of 100 miles to go to the finish and I guess when you're younger and you, you're full of exuberance and and, and keen and just you know so happy to be part of the race you, you can forget all those things and they go out of your head and um, so it, it's I think that's where definitely where experience and, and just just knowing your body knowing where you can make the big efforts and, and whether you're going to pay from further down the line and all and also knowing the route inside out really I think the more you do it like anything you know the, the more familiar the whole thing becomes I mean, you pack for all eventualities when you head to Belgium for those few weeks, for all those races, and um, you know you kind of just take everything and plan for maybe worst case scenario, really, and, and get on with it.